yeah welcome to this uh, blockchain series 3 so in this uh, series we are going to see how to create a truffle project in the previous video we are uh, we have created a contract and deployed it and tested in remix so we are make, going to make use of that contract in this truffle project so let us see how to create a truffle project and as well as we are going to install a test test rpc that is gina cli so where we are going to deploy this contract over there and uh, let's see how it goes so now we are going to install this uh, truffle so truffle is a framework which gives you uh, plenty of uh, fun features of functionalities like testing deploying and uh, running the migrations and everything so you, you can go to this uh, trufflesuit.com and you can see all those uh, um, features of this truffle so now i'm going to install this uh, truffle globally in, in my machine and as well as meanwhile uh, this is the gena cli like where you can actually uh, create a test uh, test rpc network or the test net to you say so it is uh, in let me install this like permission so sudo So it has successfully installed this. Um, so let me check this truffle if and be your show. Yeah, it has been installed. So so now we'll install the Ganache CLI. That is on truffle npm install fng Ganache CLI. So now we are installing the GNU CLI. So this is the test RPC network. So after this installation, we will go to the then install. Yeah. So we have actually installed. Like, let me check whether it has been installed properly or not. So simply type GNU CLI. GNU CLI. You should. Uh, make the test uh, test network up and running yeah so it will listen to the port uh, 8545 so as of now we will uh, stop this so now we will go ahead and create um, create a project inside uh, a default uh, blockchain folder and now we will create truffle so there is a command for this so if you go to the documentation you can find it out so create project creating a bootstrapping a new project so you can create that using a command provided by the truffle so truffle so that is truffle in it so uh, or else i don't want to create inside this blockchain like i will make a directory like use case one or purchase this purchase so cd purchase so truffle in it so truffle in it will generate all those files so i'll walk you through that truffle in it so you can see uh, it is unboxing it has created a compile migrate and test so we'll open this in vs code now so file open blockchain purchase so you can see over here uh, we have uh, we have uh, contracts so migrations test and truffle config so the truffle config that we are here we are going to change is that here we are going to point the uh, development network that is localhost 8545 so i'm going to just uncomment this so i think uh, that is fine for the truffle config uh, so you just everything is there you just want to un uncomment is very useful and the next one we are going to copy paste the contract that we have deployed in remix here so 
once this project has been completed i will share you this link uh, github url so you can uh, refer it over there so i'm going to copy paste the complete code here and the it doesn't have make sure it doesn't have any compile time errors okay so so that it doesn't fail and when you do migration see uh, there will be uh, like warnings when you uh, try to do migrations or something so that is not a problem so uh, next i'm going to deploy this contract so you need to write a migrations file for the deployment of the particular purchase.sol so i'm naming this as uh, two underscore deploy underscore contracts.js so i'm following the naming conventions which uh, truffle follows so so here what we are going to do is like we are going to in const i'm going to store get the artifact of the purchase sol so it is like uh, this is syntax artifact dot require is just like uh, artifacts dot require it is just like an import statement where you will uh, import the solidity smart contract the issue make sure the naming is uniform across the files or where you are referring to so i have named const purchase is equal to artifacts dot require purchase now uh, i'm i'm going to export this module dot export equal to function function that will take the parameter deployer so deployer dot uh, deployer will deploy this particular contract that is purchase with some value you you know that we need to send from value so that should be in way so i'm here uh, i'm making that as way conversion if you see the ether way conversion it will be there in the internet so we can try to make use of that so i'm going to um it is like some followed by some zeros like um it is like around 1 2 3 4 it is like around 15 zeros followed by that so uh, make sure you are uh, following this value correctly or you can refer to the github uh, repository sorry there is some semicolon so github repository that i'm sh i'll be sharing you shortly after this project is complete so now we have deployed the contract uh de we have written a migration for deployment of the contract and we will uh, actually inside the test folder you can actually go ahead and create test anything if you want as of now um i make sure that everything is fine according so in the next video we'll see like uh, how to deploy this uh, contract in the genas cli um so we, we make sure that everything is in place so we just made this uh, uh contract ready uh, before the deployment so in the next video we'll see how to deploy this contract and uh, see the build folder is being generated over here so you can see a build folder is generated uh, above the uh, contract so that will have the abi so uh, thanks for your time uh, please subscribe to this channel and leave your valuable feedback or comments and don't forget to like if you really like it and share it to your friends thanks